Welcome back to Harpoon Podcast. This is Vern, and that's Keith. What's going on, Keith? Hey, Vern, what's happening? Part two of the podcast of Stinging Insects, man. We, we promised we would uh, talk about bees. Yes, sir. And uh, yeah, it's it's it ain't quite bee season yet, but um, carpenter bee season is, is is here. I mean, we we should start seeing carpenter bees uh, get in the area around April. Um, they eat up wood. They drill holes in wood. After that, I believe the hornet is next. Um, hornets is probably going to be in May, uh, around a May going into June. Then yellow jackets from July to August. Um, and, and all the bees are together. Like one bee don't go away. Like by August, they're all here, right? That's right. That's right. Um, and to uh, to piggyback on what you're saying, um, in this last few podcasts, we talked about being proactive when it comes to pest control. Um, I, we can't say it enough because um, even though we're at the beginning of carpentry bee season, um, once again, if we can have material around those areas where they want to start chewing, um, uh, the wasps, where they want to start nesting and building and things of that nature, um, it really pays dividends when it comes to stinging insects around your home and your office. Yeah. So it's crazy because when it comes to bees, especially particularly yellow jackets and the hornet. Now the hornet, you know, you see, you start out like a little tennis ball, you know, it's a little tennis ball, uh, maybe at the corner of your house or the over your door or the top of your house, wherever, you know, you want to get it treated right then. Because before you know it, I mean, they can get big, yeah. especially especially the ones, them, those, the wasp, um, when they put them in them bushes. Oh, I mean, I've seen, I mean, I've seen ones, we call them apartment complexes. Like they just, you know, they can get, they can hang. Yes. They, they can, they can get way bigger than a football. Um, but, uh, yeah, the thing, the thing about bees is, um, there's really no residual spray per se that we we can't say that we are going to spray your house and you'll never get bees. Now we talked about mosquitoes last uh, week. Mosquitoes you can be proactive for sure, but the yellow jacket you don't even know where the yellow jacket going to go until it gets there, right? Um, some people um, the character is is amazing the characteristics of bees like the yellow jacket. Your house is kind of the hive. They go between your walls, under your siding, or in your stucco, and they start building that hive. I got a couple. I, I can present to you uh, um, this picture of a of a yellow jacket nest. The woman. This is an older woman. She had the. She had a. She had a end table on a porch, and the bees created this hive under the drawer. Like and then. Wow. It was a lot of them, man. And this actually was a tough hive, you know, when they're low to the ground and they're, you know, yellow jackets, they normally kind of be a little high up or whatever, but we had a hard time getting the dust under there. We used to see that white dust kind of on the top there. And uh, we had a, this wasn't a, it, it wasn't as simple as it, as it looks. This was kind of a tough one to get the dust under that drawer there. Um, yeah. 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 Um, the, uh, the one thing I, I just want to, um, mention as far as proactive uh, bees. Um, so there are certain products that work um, to prevent something like a paper wasp, um, right. which can be a nuisance around um, your home and your office um, using a, uh, without sounding too technical, a micro encapsulated formulation um, sprays around your windows and doors and eaves. Um, can keep those away. Um, uh, being a pest professional and when we come out, um, that's what's good about having a uh, ongoing service with a um, pest control company. Uh, when we're coming out, we're looking for those things. Um, so uh, as they start building, we, we start knocking down. Um, we start treating things of that nature. Yeah. Um, they can be a nuisance. Now, I've, I've been in this industry. Um, this is I'm surpassing 17 years. And uh, when I first got started, 
I had a few stings, and I went years without getting stung. Yeah, me too. Last man. year, as you know, man, I uh, I was being a little cocky. I'm like, ah, I don't need a bee suit. <laughs> I'm bobbing and weaving out there, and uh, mm -hmm. it's oh my, no my joke. Caught up with me. Ain't no joke, man. <laughs> we uh, we got speaking of bee suit, um, we got we we wear. You know, this is one of our technicians. He had a full bee suit on. You know what I mean? Um, we got extension poles. We don't have to use ladders all the time. Our poles get pretty long when we treat these 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 bee nests on the nest. This is a he's treating a um a hornet's nest. But we just recently got some new suits. Man, you're right. Like getting stung is no joke. And 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 here going back to your uh when you talk about a pest control company, um you want a pest control company. When it comes to bees, first of all, you know, people got kids. You know what I mean? They want to go outside. They play outside. And then you got these yellow jackets or whatever going in and out the house. You want to – when it comes to bees, we come out quick. Yes. I mean, it, we don't mess around with bees. We we 24 at the most 48 hours. But we try to do it within we, – we, we're pretty good when it comes to stinging insects 24 hours. Um, so uh, you want a company that – if you get them or when you get them, you want them, you want somebody that's going to show up quick. People don't mess around when it comes to bees. That's right. And we know that. So when right. we get calls in the office, you know, like you said, same day, next day, you know, because <clears throat> they can be, uh, you know, someone's allergic. Right. And things of that nature. We want to jump right on those and, and uh, treat them and remove them. Yeah. Um, and that's uh, a great service that we offer. Uh, sometimes. The nest is, you know, like the, the video you showed is way up on a house or even in a tree. Um, some other type of bees that we do, he, uh, you just showed a bald faced hornet's nest. That one right there, that's up there, you know. Um, and with the technology today, we don't always have to bring a ladder out and put it up against your house. Those extension right. poles can get up there. We can treat it. Uh, give it a few minutes and we're scraping it down, yep. bagging it up and it comes with us. That's right. Um, and then other uh, bees that we come in uh, contact with are things like the European Hornet. Um, and those got stung they, by that. Oh, man. Vicious. It, it's tough. They're tough. Ooh. They pack a big wallop. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, things to look for when it comes to uh, European Hornets, they love hollow trees. Mm hmm. Um, you know, and, um, that's another way to being proactive. If you have a tree that, you know, is, is hollowed out or things like that, you know, you can pack it closed, uh, pack it with, you can spray foam it. You can pack it with dirt, something like that. Um, because they'll find those areas yeah. and, um, believe me, um, a wasp, a hornet, they all hurt, but that European hornet, mm -hmm. That's the chant when it comes to stings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got hit in the back of the neck by one, and the day was done. Like, yeah. The day was over. I'm, I'm going. I went right home. Other sting, other bee stings. I was able to continue my day. The European hornet. The day was over. You know. Um. That's a. That's you're right. And we're getting more and more people are getting more and more European hornets. I mean, years ago we didn't get calls for European hornets, but now, um, we're getting more and more, particularly like. The counties, yes, you know, like Delaware County, the rural areas, you know, they got the trees in the, the yard. Like you talked about the trees, we're getting more and more calls for European hornets. So that's that's. But again, we can do same day treatment. The only bee where sometimes we have to come out more than once is the yellow jacket, and that's because the the nest could be hidden between those walls. So yes. that 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 product need to go a certain direction to uh, get to those bees, but uh, they're they're all nasty, man. Um, but yeah, you know, give us a call. Like we have a stinging insect. We named this stinging insects for a reason because our plan is called a stinging insect plant, um, and that's mosquitoes, bees. You know, we 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 put them all together so that people can enjoy the outdoors. We got a lot of houses out here in these, in these areas where, you know, they got the patios, they got the decks and things of that nature. So, um, so a lot of people don't have problems inside the house. Right. So uh, we're very, very reasonable when it comes to pricing on that. 
yeah, give us a call. We plan on posting a flyer on that too, Keith. Um, so people can kind of read it and see it. Um, see, you know, how they can protect their home. And the the other thing is just, you know, uh letting the um the consumer know that we are aware of, you know, we're dealing with pollinators and we're just not you know, going willy nilly spraying here and there. Right. Uh, the issues with bees is when they come, you know, around the family, you know, uh, good weather, you're outside enjoying, no one wants to get stung. So um, bees are beneficial in the whole ecosystem as far as uh, they feed on other insects, right? flies and things of that nature. And, and um, we're not here to eliminate everything. Right. Uh, we just want to make sure your, your home and business is safe. Even with a cicada killer. Yes. You know, that's another one. I mean, they can be, they're huge. Oh, but, you know, we, we target their nest um, and they, they go in and out of the grass. You'll see them hovering over your lawn, but that's a good point. We just don't kill everything. Yes. You know, it, it, we, we understand the importance of bees for sure. But at the same time, you don't want them going in your house. That's right. That's, that's just the point of it. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's our stinging and says, give us a call. We you know, we're not going to talk about the plan on 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 this video podcast. We just wanted to give people a heads up that we do have a plan for stinging insects and uh, give us a call. We'll tell you all about it. Call me. I love talking. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate everybody listening. Uh, I do not have the title of our next podcast. But it's going to be something about bugs. So <laughs> go figure. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate everybody listening. Thanks for listening to our podcast. Hit the like button if you hit the subscribe button if you've never listened to us before. And we'll see you next week.